Hey everyone and welcome back to your Fred Expert YouTube channel. In this video I'd like to show you how you can easily create stereoscopic 360 panorama images or videos you can then upload on YouTube, which is probably the easiest and cheapest way to bring someone in an immersive VR experience using a tablet or mobile device in one of those cheap cardboard VR devices. So those panorama images are nothing more than a 360 degree um, rotation of the camera that is mapped to um, a sphere. And in FRED, we have um, for our perspective camera different projection types. And if you want to render something in mono, you can simply use the spherical map. But if we want to do that in stereo, we actually have to render two of those images for the left and for the right eye. And the tricky part is what are you doing with the intersecting area where these two spheres um, overlap. And you can't simply take uh, two mono images for the left and for the right eye because you need a special distortion. And um, this can be uh, easily done in FRED as well with um, a projection type that is called omnidirectional stereo. So let's not waste time and let me show you how you can create that in VRED. So here in FRED I have a kitchen scene with some configurations in it and I want to create a YouTube video um, that toggles through these three variants and basically gives the user the possibility to rotate around and uh, look at these three configurations. So the first thing I'm going to do is to duplicate my um, perspective camera I have already because I've set up the uh, tone mapping um, and color grading already in that camera. So I can um, delete the tracks and rename it to something like only directional cam. So we will now position um, that camera somewhere in the center of um, the kitchen. So basically the position um, I want to look around. So I also do that in the side view and move my camera a little bit up. So I think somewhere here is the floor. And in addition to that, I calculate um, an offset by one meter 75. So this is probably where my um, viewing height is. So I've noted these values down already. So let me quickly uh, change that. That should be fine. And I also want to um, change my rotation. So, but therefore we first of all jump into the camera. And this is because my tone mapping also needs to be adjusted. So as you can see, I'm currently looking down. So I have to rotate my, my camera. I'm not sure which direction. Okay, it's probably uh, yeah, exactly that one. Um, and also my viewing direction is, I think, something like this plus 90 degrees. All right, so also change my resolution a bit so that you can see it better. Okay, I think this is the position where I want to view from. So what we can do now is um, changing the projection mode of that camera to omnidirectional stereo. And you see that we don't see anything. And this is because um, those projection modes work only in ray tracing. So I will enable my GPU ray tracer And if you want to have the look of um, your OpenGL, then you can simply go into the render settings and choose the pre-computed mode as a render mode or pre-computed plus reflection or full global illumination at the end. Um, 
What we need now is because we have um, two images for the left and right eye, we have to render um, a quadratic image. So uh, I simply go to my preferences and for my viewport, I'm setting something like this just as a preview. And then also go to use my preferences. And I think basically that's what we have to render out at the end. So turn on anti-aliasing. You can also change the direction. So based where you want to have the viewer um, start from. So camera wise, I think that's it. Now we can have a look into the render settings. Um, we will render with full global illumination. Probably 265 samples is a fine. I will use the, the denoiser. And as an output size, we, yeah, I, I, I will render in 4K. I'm not sure if um, this size is supported by YouTube or by um, one of the tools um, I will export the movie from. Um, but for the images, I take a 4K resolution. So we will render out now these um, three configurations as images and then um, cut them together in another tool. I'm doing that in Camtasia. So I bring in my three images first. And then I will lay them out on the timeline. Um, as far as I know, um, in YouTube, um, if your video is uh, shorter than a minute, it becomes a YouTube short and this is um, nothing we want. So we will stretch the images to probably 25 seconds each. So the user has time to um, look around before the next uh, configuration image blends in. So um, also changing my project settings. to something in okay. And change the iteration to, what did I say, 25 seconds each. So bringing in the next one, do the same here. And the last one. So this gives me also now a duration um, longer than a minute to avoid um, YouTube will make a short out of it. So let's render out that video in an MP4 format. Stick to the size. Um, I actually realized that um, a 4K resolution is not supported. So I uh, changed it down to half of the size. Um, full quality, frame rate, 30 frames. And then I can save that video. So this is basically what we got, the video. Um, it's playing, but I'm not able to um, look around. Um, same will be on YouTube because we have to use uh, a tool to insert some metadata into the video first. And if you simply Google for 180 or 360 degree videos on YouTube, it will guide you on this site from where you can download um, a tool on their GitHub site. And with that tool, you can inject some, some metadata. So the tool is called Spatial Media Metadata Injector. 
And when you start the executable, you can then open um, your video and say my video is a stereoscopic 3D top button layout for the left and the right eye and inject the media, save the video. And basically that's it. And now you can proceed like with any other video. You simply upload your um, video you have injected the metadata in. Set your description. Um, I'm also bringing in some uh, timestamps so the user has the possibility to jump to the different configurations. And once it's uploaded, you get one of those um, panorama videos. You can jump to the different uh, configurations. And when you um, access that site with your mobile device, it will show you a small little icon over here. You can then um, activate and plug into your Google Cardboard and look around in VR with the right eye separation and the stereoscopic impression. Thanks for watching. I hope that video was helpful. Um, leave a comment or like and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to learn more about VRED. Bye.